we have connected Meta to your Easy Social account, it's time for the most awaited moment. We will quickly create a chatbot for your brand. And trust me, it is going to be a very gratifying process and it will be a very creative process too. You will learn how to create a chatbot within a matter of minutes. And not just that, you can actually see the progress of your chatbot in real time. So without any delay, let's get started. Once you're logged in with your Easy Social account, this is the screen that you're going to come across. Now here, you have to go to the profile icon on top right, followed by settings. Scroll down and click on WhatsApp, followed by chatbot builder. In this menu, you're going to come across chat flows. Now chat flows are basically nothing but a visual representation of a chat that you're going to have through your chatbot. It might sound a little complex, but don't worry, I'll just take you through it quickly. So there's a default chat flow that you can find here. Click on the three dot menu and click on edit chat flow. The most basic element of a chat flow is a node. You can see on the right side of this page, there are a bunch of nodes here. So we'll talk about what these nodes are. Okay. But in the meantime, I would suggest that you open web WhatsApp in a new tab. We want to do this because we want to test all the nodes that we add and experiment with and we will be able to see the results in real time. So at this time, I would want that you open the number that is connected to easy social account and you type in hello and you can see there's no response to this message. So not now what we'll do is we'll go back to our chat flow and we'll take an example of a college. Let's say, let's call it AB college. So imagine if some, somebody sends hello to this college, they should get a greeting, right? So we'll create a message that will resemble a greeting. So look at this node called basic message, drag it to the workspace. Now this node is going to be the first node of our conversation. So we will mark it as a start node. So this is where the conversation begins. All right. Now here go scroll up and here in this message section, we will write our greeting. Welcome to AB college. Now this is technically WhatsApp. So all the commands that you use in WhatsApp to decorate text, you can use them here. Also, you can use this header section to add some image or a video if you like. But if you don't want to add those videos, you can turn it off. You have to turn it off. Otherwise, it will give you errors. Now, after this greeting, I also want to take the name. I want to ask the user for his name. Please enter your name. All right. Now I'll save this note and I'll go back to WhatsApp. Now I will type hello again or rather I will type zero. Zero is used to reset the chatbot from the start. So I'll type zero and let's see what happens. Okay. So we've got our first message. Welcome to AB college. Please enter your name. So I'll write my name Shobit. Now what is going to happen? There is an error. Why? So let's go back and understand. So here we are expecting the user's name, but we need to save this name somewhere. All right. So you click on save user input and you have to define a field where you will save this name. So it is like a container. So you have to name this container. So I'll call this name. I have to cl click create to create this container or a lead data field as we call it in the software. So when you hit create name is created and now anybody who enters the name is going to be st stored in this field. All right. So let's save this again and try it. Zero to reset the chatbot. What is your name? So I'll enter Shobit. Again, you see there's an error. So now what happened was that the name got st stored in the container called name, but it gave an error because there's no next message to go to. So we'll add another message here. 
we'll, this time we're going to add interactive button response so now we connect this the way you connect these nodes is that you bring your cursor in the middle of this circle connector and you'll see a square you click and drag from there and you bring it to the circle on the top of this node until you see another square or crosshair and then you release your mouse and a connection is established okay so this is our next response so when the user has entered his name we will ask him a question what do you want to do next so we'll give him uh, more options here. Now this is an interactive button response. It allows us to add multiple button options to the node. So here you can see add a new button option is there. So I'll click it three times and I'll add three buttons. So here you can see there are three buttons which are added. Okay. Now just for my convenience sake, I can change the node title. So I'll call this main menu. It doesn't change the node to anything else and it does not show to the user. This is only for my reference so that I can easily understand what's happening in this node. So I'm going to give three options to the user here. The first option I will call browse courses. Uh, the second option I will call locate us and the third I will call download prospectus okay so I get three buttons now and all these three buttons are going to lead me to other messages so as you can see already it's kind of like a flowchart so I will save this and I'll go back to WhatsApp and I'll type a zero. So please enter your name. I'll enter my name. So it's giving me the next message. What do you want to do next? Browse courses, locate us, download prospectus. So again, if I click on these nodes, it's going to give me an error because there's no node ahead connected to this one. See? So it's giving me an error. So let's fix, it, fix this one. So let's go back to the chat flow. All right. So before we fix this, I want to show you another trick. So if you remember, we had asked for the name of the user and we had also saved it in this name lead data field or a container. I'm calling it a container for your convenience. So now if you want to show the name of the user in your next message, what you could do is you can write dear you can insert name from here so it's going to read that name from the previous message save it in the field called name and also going to print it here okay we'll also now add a few more nodes and then we're going to test back again so you can see these are three buttons and they're depicted by a color and the color resembles these circles so button one is technically this first connector button two will take you to this connector and button three is going to take you to the third one. So let's connect the first uh, connector, which is browse courses. This time I'm going to use interactive list response. So when you have more than three options, like here in this case, you had three options, but if you have more than three, but less than 10 options, then you can use interactive list. It gives you a pop-up list of options. So let's try this here. So we'll call this courses. Please select from the list of courses below. Now, uh, we also have an option of a footer. Footer is like a faded text which comes at the bottom of a message. So you can uh, write powered by AB college and I'll just show you how it looks like when we test the entire thing. So now 
in this list message you get to see a button so i'll call this button show options so when you click on this button you'll get a list of items a list can contain many sections so here i'll add a section and i'll call this graduation courses and i'll add a few items here so this one i'll call bcom bca b and then i'll add another section called post graduate courses i'll add two more here first one i'll call mba the other one i'll call m tech okay all right so we have got five nodes here and now we want to also save this data okay so we will call this course and we'll hit create so whatever course the user inputs we will get that saved in our database and we will also create a node and we'll connect all of these into this final node all right and we'll say thanks name we have noted your interest in this course our team will be in touch with you soon all right so this is supposed to be a last message okay uh, for this particular branch so we since we want to conclude it here what we need to do is we have to click on this node and it will mark it as an end node but remember that because it's an end node whenever somebody messages after this message it will automatically go to the start message so it is better that you write uh, something along these lines in your message so for example we can write you can restart the chat by replying hello so this tells uh, the person who is actually conversing with your chatbot that when he writes hello again it's going to lead him to the first message again okay so let's just save it and let's get back into the testing mode so we'll type zero here enter your name so i enter my name my name is shobit so let's see what happens dear shobit what do you want to do next so remember we had added a name tag so this name tag is helping us to print the user's name here in this message browse course okay so now let's go to the next option let's click on browse courses see how convenient it has become i just click on a button and it's taking me to the next menu so now you see this powered by ab college now this is what we had written in the footer mm, footer of the course powered by ab college so it's coming in a little dimmed text gray text so yeah so this is how it works then this is the button show options which we saw here yeah so this is the button show options when we click on this button it gives us two lists one is graduation courses one is post graduate courses so this is the graduation courses and this is the post graduate courses and it's giving us a list of all the items that we had fed into it you could have also written a description here which is completely optional but it is compulsory to write a title okay so you can try this on your own so let's select bcom and hit the send button 
Okay, thanks Shobhit, we have noted your interest in BCom course. Our team will be in touch with you soon and you can restart the chat by replying hello. Okay, so now no matter what I type, I type hello or I type hi, it's going to take me to the first message. Okay, I hope that was easy. Now let's get back to the chat flow and in the main menu, we'll just quickly complete the rest of uh, the conversations. The next message was locate us. So here I'm going to put a geolocation node okay and here i am going to search for ab college i don't know if there is a college like that in this world no so i'll look for some college in general college park okay whatever this address is it could be a more genuine address here i can change the details so i can call this ab college here all right now what is expected is that this node will take us to this particular location on the chat okay but what happens after this this node does not accept any text so it's going to get stuck so what we need to do is we need to move the user to a next node okay so we click on jump to the next message now we'll add another basic message here and we'll copy some text from here you can so that I don't have to write it again so I will say thanks hope we were able to help you today you can restart the conversation by start uh, replying hello now remember since this is the last message we have to click on this particular option okay so our second option is done now look at the last menu which is download prospectus now we can do this by clicking here on the document section and we can connect it here to the document here we can upload a pdf file okay and here if you want to change the name of the file you can do so directly so uh, it automatically takes the name of the file but it can be altered so i'll call this prospectus okay and again we are not expecting any input from the user but we want to go to the next node so we can click on the jump to next message and then this is a short hack uh, it will be ideal to actually make another ending node but if you want you can like connect it here like that so two nodes can have a common ending node although i don't advise it but yeah if you want you can definitely go for it and now hit save now let's get back to testing we'll hit zero okay enter your name so my name is shobit let's change my name this time let's call it rohit dear rohit what do you want to do next locate us okay so there you go it's sending you the location that we had entered there in that node and now the message has concluded now you can directly click on download prospectus and let's see what happens oops it did not come through it did come through but it's a little bigger file so it came back a little later All right, so we made our first WhatsApp chatbot together. I hope it was an enjoyable experience for you and you were able to follow along. In case you have more questions, please feel free to contact us and we will love to get back to you. Very soon, we'll be covering some more advanced topics. There are a lot of nodes which could be extremely helpful in your workflows and we would be covering those in the coming days. So stay tuned and see you in the next video.